comer va, va a comer un restaurante de vanguardia hay lo que se llama la moción creativa no relation to the Larry Clark film of vaguely the same name. This takes us behind the scenes at the recipe lab of the world's best-rated restaurant in Spain. But the food here is a red herring. This is a study of power and shifting hierarchies as the underlings struggle to impress head chef Farah Adria. Henry, I know from the recent cake bake we had here that you're a really keen cook. Did you get any tips from this? Um, I, I don't think I could because it's so technologically advanced the way they're cooking here and I also think that Ferran would run a mile from my banana loaf and <laughs> that reaction would be probably the most extrovert thing he'd ever do because this film is all about subtlety and there really isn't any reaction that he gives his chefs when they present these dishes to him other than a raise of the eyebrow or maybe a grimace as if to say why did you even bother picking up the spoon on that one. Right. I really loved this film. I thought it was fantastic just the way that they set the camera up in the lab and you watch these people discover how food breaks down into its component properties with almost kind of scientific precision. And that really spoke to me that in a way that Sugar Man didn't and that Sugar Man was a, a really sweet artifice that had been put together and immaculately created, but whereas this was just something that was let allowed to run and just cook itself, as it were. I gotta say I, I, I disagree a bit. I, I sort of thought the what you maybe found hypnotic about this film, I've gotta say I found slightly slightly boring in the end. Uh, I thought it was I, I, I have to say I sort of came down against it. I thought it was what it was what was great about it, in a way, was that it avoided the cliches. It doesn't say that chefs are these wonderful, life-affirming figures who are passionate, passionate about food, you know, with, with you know, sauces stained all over their clothes. You know, this guy was like a technician. He was a very cerebral guy. And that's interesting. That probably is what they're like. I felt that I was watching a 90-minute advertisement, very high-tech kind of VW Passat advertisement for something that is really for very rich and well-connected people only. You know, if you're not very, very rich and very well-connected, then don't bother phoning up and trying to get a table. You know, go down the road to Nando's, mate. You know, I disagree with that, star. though, because you don't actually see any of the people eating in the restaurant. It's not really about the customer, is it? No. It's about his sense of you magic see, that and creation. that, too, I felt was a little bit chilly and slightly high-handed, to be honest. There was, there was no question of showing the clientele and no question of asking them what they think, you know. Uh, I, I, and I did laugh a little bit when they showed, as I say, I don't want to be anti it, but I, I did laugh when they showed the weird and wonderful creations. And I want to say, yeah, and what's the price tag, mate? <laughs> <laughs> How many euros do I have to pay yeah. for that? What does the menu look Look like you know it's one of those wonderful menus which doesn't have a price on it